In developed countries, we tend to forget how readily available access to clean water is. Having access to clean water is fundamental to any community. Safe and reliable water gives hope and establishes potential for growth. What steps can we take as a community to achieve water stability across the globe? 97.5% of the world's total water is salt water, with only 2.5% fresh water. Within our freshwater resources, 70% is ice and snow cover in mountainous regions, 30% is groundwater, and 0.3% is freshwater from lakes and rivers. Groundwater is water found underground in aquifers. Aquifers are geological formations of rocks, sand, and gravel that accumulate water over thousands of years, and they'll take thousands of years to fill back up. In many areas, groundwater is being overused, and more water is extracted than is replenished by snow and rain. Some urban areas have been developed over aquifers and are heavily reliant on it as a water source. Due to the heavy use of this water source, like in Mexico City, the soil is compressing, which causes the city to sink about nine inches a year. Groundwater pollution is another problem we have to be mindful of, as it can take decades to recover from. 884 million, or roughly 11% of the world's population, goes without access to clean drinking water on a daily basis. In developing countries alone, 70% of industrial waste is dumped untreated into waters where they pollute usable water supply. In Africa alone, women and children spend 40 billion hours a year walking for water. Imagine needing to carry your daily supply each and every day. Students at Iowa Wesleyan participated in an experiment where they were tasked with carrying their daily supply of water, which was only two and a half gallons. They experienced hardships, such as daily hygiene care, making food, conserving water, washing their supplies and clothing, while carrying the large jug with them throughout their daily routine. I expect that I'm going to be more appreciative of water after uh, this project. I'm very excited and a little bit nervous, but to be honest, I really want to see myself after the experiment to get to know my new version, new version of myself. I want to say a lot of like awareness, really to create a lot of awareness for like water and like other countries that don't have like clean water. I think we're going to find a lot out a lot about ourselves and how much water we actually use and like how much we take it for granted. Um, I expect to <laughs> honestly not waste as much water as I can and use it efficiently. Um, I feel like I might run out of water, but I really hope I don't. <laughs> So we're just gonna have to see. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what to ex expect with this assignment. I've never done anything like it before. Um, I kind of expect to be humbled a little bit. Like, having to carry around the water jug around with me, I know I'm, I'm gonna get tired. So I expect to be like, you know, a little tired of carrying it around, but expect it'll be a good experience. <laughs> I think our expectations are gonna be a lot different than reality. I think we think it's a lot harder than what it's actually going to be. Um, it's definitely not going to be as convenient, uh, carrying around the water and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's just, I'll have to make sure that I have an extra time and stuff like that to carry it around and to make sure that it's all filled up at the beginning of the day and yeah. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a bit hard 
to live only on that jug of water for three days. I mean, like fill it one time a day. So I'm gonna have to like shower with it, which probably gonna finish half of the water. So I feel like the water will run out easily. The average shower lasts 7.8 minutes and uses 15.8 gallons of water. All right, so I just got out the shower and what I used was a container like this and I put water in it and just was, you know, dipping my loofah and it got my body wet. And then had all my stuff, used all that. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but I couldn't imagine doing that every day. Um, it took me over an hour to wash my hair when it takes me like a total of 20 minutes total in the shower. So that was definitely really hard. The American Dental Association recommends brushing your teeth for a full two minutes twice per day. The EPA states that leaving the water running while brushing your teeth wastes an average of four gallons each time. This project is changing my daily schedule and routine because I have to make sure I remember to bring my water jug around with me um, to drink and wash my hands, um, as well as shower and bathe. For showering, it changes my schedule because I'm a wrestler. I have to adapt to like not using the open shower heads. Um, to wash my body. And this was uncomfortable for me because of the social expectations of utilizing the shower in a wrestling room, like community shower. What I did instead was to get a bowl, pour water from my two gallon jug into the water bowl, add soap, mix it up with my hands, uh, dip a dry washcloth into the bowl and scrub my body down with the washcloth and then pour the excess water in the bowl onto my skin to rinse off. Washing my hands and brushing my teeth was uh, a big change not having to turn the faucet on every morning, so. The average person uses six and a half gallons of water flushing the toilet every day. The students quickly realized how convenient having hot running water is in their daily lives. The hardest part in this experience was very cold shower. <laughs> Our jugs were filled with cold water and we couldn't control the temperature. So when we were showering, it was just like in the winter, really cold, icy water. It was just like very, very hard. Between washing laundry, bathing, cooking and cleaning, the average American household uses about 65 gallons of heated water daily. All right, so I'm about to make some ramen with this water. All right, so I'm gonna put this on for three minutes. And I'll show you the final results after. It takes an average of 793 gallons of water to grow raise and prepare one person's daily food. I want to say trying to cook and trying to like bathe with it, like that was too kind of like, that was too much for me. I need more water than that. I'm glad that we're raising awareness for an issue like this. And uh, hopefully when our movie's done, people can understand that this is a very huge issue in the world. A lot of issues go unnoticed and hopefully this one isn't one of them. This does not include how much water each individual person should be drinking daily. Washing laundry is a significant use of water in the average American home, accounting for 15 to 40% of the overall water consumption inside the typical household of four people. Now I'm gonna wash my socks with this water. I'll make it this way so it would be easier.
The average American family washes almost 400 loads of laundry each year. Even though washing machine technology has advanced, high efficiency washers still use between 15 and 30 gallons of water per cycle. It's easier for me to do this like in the sink, so that's why these shirts are in there. But I just like washed them and I poured out the old water in here and just put some more um, fresh water in. And so I'm going to like rinse them and get all the soap out. During their three day experiment, the students learned and noted just how grateful they were for their usual access to clean running water. I thought it was going to be a struggle. Okay. This project is making me appreciate clean running water that is typically expected to be available and accessible at all times in America. However, it could be probably considered a luxury to have in other countries. So be grateful for the water that you have and utilize it to the best of its ability. I learned that I'm very reliant on running water. <laughs> Definitely, it makes me appreciate what I have a lot more. I learned that carrying water around can be very difficult and it is a very heavy jug. No matter even if it just like looks pretty small, carrying it from class to class did get a little difficult. When it came to like getting ready in the mornings and like getting prepared for the day, I didn't feel completely ready without like a full shower and like full access to running water and it was a little difficult. Like to conserve water and just like not be like too much aggressive about how much water use I end up using per day. I've learned that without water, we cannot live. Of course, we need to save water more and uh, appreciate like the access to water. Having like water in a faucet is pretty normal. And then it's kind of weird having to remember not to use the faucet. So it made me realize how fortunate I am instead of having to carry a jug around everywhere I go and use it every time I need water. Um, what I learned from this experiment is how much water I use when I had to do activities, when I had to like brush my teeth, wash my face, wash my hands, shower, all of those things. I had to think about it a lot more critically and um, think of a plan on how to not use as much water as I normally do. Cause with doing it normally with faucets and showers and everything like that, it's just like a click, you know? It's something you don't even think about doing. It's kind of like a mindless activity. So yeah. Realizing that people that have to walk four, three hours a day to get back water, some of these weathers are really cold. Some of these weathers are really hot. And it's just like, I have always water everywhere around me. I can control the temperature. I use it in everything and I've never thought, give it a thought. Like it was just a normal thing for me. And now I realize that it's not typical for everybody. Water is actually a scarce resource and we can run out of it, but we treat it like we have plenty of it. I really have taken for granted the water that I've had over the years that I've grown up in America. Many organizations strive to bring awareness to the struggles experienced by much of the world's population in regards to water. What is World Water Day? World Water Day, held on March 22nd, is an annual United Nations observance that started in 1993 to raise awareness of the importance and necessity for all humans to have access to clean and safe water. I think the biggest thing that stuck out to me was uh, one of my teachers stopping me like in the middle of a class 
and asking me about the water project because I brought my jug to class and uh, he asked me in front of the entire class what was going on and if I could like collect rainwater to um, utilize if I ran out of water. And later I asked my psychology professor um, if I could collect the rainwater for the project if I ran out of water and she said yes, but because we had 2.5 gallons per day or so, um, I didn't need to collect more, but I found it funny that it actually did rain the day after he asked that. <laughs> what can be done about our current groundwater problem? Groundwater must be protected from pollution and used sustainably to balance the needs of people and the planet. For the past three days when I thought about water, I thought about it more like carefully versus the, um, I thought less about, oh, I'm not going to run out, everything's going to be fine, versus the scarcity of having water every day um, and the fear of running out and being like, what do I do if I do that, you know? Some things we can do to conserve water are to take shorter showers, shut the water off while brushing teeth, run full loads of dishes and laundry, use reusable water bottles, and get involved in water education. And it's just like knowing that people have to carry, I carry just that little one, but knowing that people have to carry three, four, and even double the size or triple the size of this one is just pretty hard. It's, it was unimaginable for me at first before this experiment, for sure. Yeah, it made me feel a little bit more grateful because now I understand like that even though I was able to refill mine like closely and nearby and I didn't have to take walks to refill my water, it was still like something to consider because some not all people had that way to, to like go get water just like a snap, you feel me? So man, I'm just glad that I can get water how I can get it. And to those who don't have water, Hopefully things will change in the world. Isn't now the time for us to change the environment for the better?